I'm Anna Larson from Coyote Prosthetics and Orthotics. Today I'm going to go over the wear and care instructions for an AFO. Um, there are lots of different kinds of AFOs and I'll just briefly go over a few so you want to follow the specific directions that you're given. Um, so these are just general guidelines. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a sock. This is specifically an AFO sock. And it's made to be moisture wicking. It has silver fibers in it to reduce bacteria. And this one is a nice tall sock so that it'll go higher than the brace does. You don't have to have a special AFO sock, but you definitely want your sock to go taller than your brace to reduce any friction or rubbing. So we'll go ahead and have you put on this sock. Now with this sock, we want to make sure that we don't have any wrinkles in it because that can cause skin problems underneath the brace. So we'll pull all those wrinkles out. There are several different types of braces I have here and there are definitely many more. This is an articulated AFO. So you can move your ankle up, but there's a stop on it so you can't move your foot down. We're gonna have him try this one on today first. So with this brace, you want to kind of drop your foot into it. Make sure that your heel is all the way back. And then depending on your specific brace, you'll probably have a number of Velcro straps. This one only has one. So we'll unvelcro it, thread it through the chafe, and tighten that. We want that to be snug. We don't want it to be so tight that you're going to lose circulation in your foot. Um, but you want it to be able to kind of hold the brace in place. So that all looks pretty good. For the shoe, you want either a lace-up or Velcro shoe. This one happens to be Velcro, and you want to make sure that it has a removable insert as well. So with this one, we'll take the insert out. And that'll just give a little bit more room for your foot, make everything a little bit more comfortable. But you want to just slide the shoe on like you normally would, you may need to use a shoehorn in the back to kind of help get it over the heel. That tends to be a tr trouble spot and that generally helps quite a bit. So when you first start wearing your AFO, you're going to want to break it in gradually. And what that means is kind of just like a new pair of shoes. So you want to wear it one to two hours the first day, two to four hours the second day, and generally increasing your time and you should be wearing it full time within about a week. If you have any problems in that time, before your follow-up appointment, give your orthotist a call. Um, in most cases, they'll get you in sooner. It's not uncommon to need minor adjustments, so if you have an uncomfortable area, I'd definitely bring it up. Along with the break-in period, you want to check your skin regularly. So what that means is, after you wear it an hour or two the first day, you want to take the brace off, take the sock off, and look at your foot and just see if there are any areas of redness. If the areas of redness are pink and they fade within 20 minutes, then that's not a sign of skin problems. However, if, it, if the redness is a really bright angry red, it, if it's severely uncomfortable or if it exceeds 20 minutes of redness after you remove the brace, those are all signs that you're going to want to call your orthotist um, and get in for an adjustment. As far as cleaning of the device, this one is a plastic, so you can wipe it down with a damp cloth. Maybe use a mild soap, but you want to make sure that you don't get a lot of soapy residue buildup in this specific brace. Um, so let's go ahead and take this one off. And this specific type, you would put on your foot and then put your shoe on. A lot of times, there are some braces that you can put into the shoe and then put your foot in, so you'll have to use your specific instructions that you're provided with regarding your device. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this off. Um, and just to show you a couple different kinds of AFOs, depending on what your need is. This is a solid ankle AFO, so it doesn't have any hinges. Um, and this one has two straps, some padding in the ankle. 
This one is a little bit different than the other one we looked at. This is a hinged or articulated AFO. And it has an adjustable joint on this side, so we can adjust the amount of motion. And this one has a flexible inner boot as well, so that we get a little bit more control of the foot. Now this is the Boise Bivalve Brace. I'm going to go over this really quickly just because it is a little bit different than the other one that we just went over. Um, this one has the three Velcro straps, so we're going to unvelcro these. And what I like to do is after I take them off, I fasten them back on themselves. Um, and the reason for that is that if you don't, sometimes they'll get all tangled up in each other and it's kind of a mess to figure out. Um, and also they won't collect any lint, carpet, hair, anything like that, and your Velcro will last longer. Okay. So we undid those, Velcroed them back on themselves. This one opens from the bottom, it's a bivalve design, and has the flexible inner boot. This is um, pretty comfortable, and it helps with some skin issues, just to protect the skin a little bit more. We're going to do everything else like we did before. We're going to make sure we have the sock on, the gradual break-in period. But to open this one, we just open it in the front. I'll have him drop his foot in here. And then this design, since it opens from the bottom, we can do it two ways. We can kind of do it like that, make sure it's snug. Or if he has trouble bending down, he had a back fusion, something like that. We can lay this down on the ground here and go ahead and just put your foot in there and step on it and then it'll kind of close itself. So that just makes it a little bit easier for some people. We can tighten these. And again, you want them snug. You don't want them so tight that you feel like you're going to lose circulation. There we go, make sure that's nice and snug. Um, and then he can go ahead and put his shoe on as well.